Hello everyone, this is Lord Focus, and today I'm here to show you the new changes in Stargate Tech version 0.8. So, the first thing I wanted you guys to notice is that there's now whale integration, and you can see the uh, Stargate's address by looking at it. And you'll see the address in text mode and symbol by symbol. Um, the symbols correspond to the text above. So, um, this is not necessarily functional but it helps uh, getting the address because you don't have to click the Stargate with um, a tablet computer which may be removed soon and um, it also has um, a nice touch in terms of lore and eye candy um, by adding the symbols which um, are a good part of the mods look and feel so, um, this video will be mostly about the, the shield controllers. There will be more videos soon um, as I get things done to show you what's being done with the, the other systems. So, right now, we'll see the shield controllers new GUI system. Um, we have checkboxes here, which y you are already used to, but now you don't have to, to click on the, the square, you can click on the text. As long as the text is underlined, you can click it and it will activate. So even in the spaces, in the checkbox, doesn't matter. Um, the exceptions um, is still a list and it works slightly differently. You will barely notice um, a change. So I can just write some text and press enter or write some text and click here and it will be added and to remove you select um, one of the entries and you hit the, the red button and it's removed now um, a new thing here is the status um, block this status block shows us um, how the, the shield controller is currently doing. So, the amount of ionized particles we have, which right now is zero, um, whether or not the shield is currently emitting, so right now it's inactive because this shield emitter doesn't have, this shield controller actually, doesn't have any shield emitters connected. The current consumption rate for uh, ionized particles this value is bogus, it's just for, for show. This isn't being calculated yet, but it will be soon. Um, and the control mode. The control mode is very important because it tells you right now what is the only way to turn shields on and off. There are more things you will be able to do with the, um, with the, the shield controller. Uh, for example, changing permissions through the abstract bus and for that doesn't matter which control mode you're using um, but for turning shields on and off the control mode does matter so first thing we'll open the abstract bus tab which has been changed and we can see it has the default values enabled address 0000, zero, zero, zero. Um, if we disable it the control mode is none because there is no way to turn the shields on or off. Um, however, if we turn the redstone to low or high, then the control mode changes to redstone. Notice that... Uh, actually, I can't notice that. Um, never mind. If the... Actually, uh, ne sorry. Um, the, the redstone always has higher priority than the, um, the abstract bus so if you have redstone active even if you're listening to abstract bus messages for example for permissions the only way to activate and deactivate the shields is through redstone and I'll show you um, in a moment there how that works um, so, right now, um, here's what we have. The, um, if the, the redstone control is being used, which means not ignored, either low or high, 
Um, doesn't matter if you turn the shield, the, the abstract buzz on and off, the shield can only be controlled through redstone. And this tab, you already know it, this is just information, you're probably familiar with this as well. Um, there's only one important thing to notice here that hasn't been explained in earlier versions, however, this does work in earlier versions, which is you can only connect to the abstract bus on blue sides. So if a side isn't marked blue, you can't connect to the to the shield controller. To the abstract bus, sorry. So let's get this here. See? There is no connection here. However, if we change this side to blue, bam, they connect. Um you can only receive um a nice particles from the blue side too. This may be changed in the future if someone asks for it. Um, and if it happens, um, I will be changing the the sides so that there's one color for the abstract buzz and another color for the ionized particles so that they don't get mixed. Uh, even though there are no conflicts between them, some players may not want to expose uh, a side to the abstract buzz uh, on a certain side of the shield controller. Now, um, if we go here, you'll notice right away that I have hacked around this and this shield controller is using water instead of ionized particles. Um, don't worry, you won't be able to do it. I have done that in code and only because ionized particles right now uh, in the state the mod is um, aren't easy to, ob to obtain, so I'll just work with water until um, I can use something else. So let's fill this up, and as soon as we switch up to blue, there we go. So control mode is none, so if I come here and turn the lever, nothing happens. However, if I change it to low, you see the shield is active. And not only the shield is active, um, you can see the, um, the control mode is redstone and the shield comes up right away. Um, oh, but I have no permissions here, so I can't go through my own shield. Um, let's see. Exception. Oh, actually, I it can be done this way because I don't have my name here. Um, Let's go with other players. That should do it. Yay. So, if we change to high, uh, it won't turn off, but it still responds to redstone. So, if I give it high power, it goes on. The same way, if I put it on low, it has low power, so it's working, and if I give it high power, it shuts down. So, that's pretty much what we've got going here. Um, you can also use the uh, the abstract buzz to control the shields, but if the mode is redstone, messages for the shields will be ignored. And that was the video for today. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned because there will be more coming soon. I can't promise anything, and I've been quite busy lately. Uh, mostly with school and having a life, you know. Um, but I will do my best to get this out as soon as I can because there are quite some cool changes coming out and you guys will definitely want to, um, to see those. And just for a quick show here, let's have one of these and one of these, one of these and this. So, transport pick and matter grid, transceiver, antenna, and console. And what we'll do here is, let's see. Woohoo! Fancy, right? Yeah. You already know this from the, the hand portal. However, this will be changed a bit.
so this one look like the hand portal right now it's just um, a concept and you only use this you only use this and you also use this and a few of those um, this is the way they are intended to be used more or less so you have a controller and uh, a console sorry uh, and you have a transceiver with antennas and the matter grids you will have to be standing on matter grids to use this this will be uh, the way you teleport yourself inside the same dimension so we have stargates for interdimensional transport and they will use a lot of power we will have the transport beacon for transport in the same dimension to anywhere in the same dimension and they will use a bit of power and you already know the transporting platform which gives you transport uh, vertically within the same dimension and it uses absolutely no power at all so that was the video for today and thanks for everything guys you are awesome bye